I rise in strong support of this rule and the underlying resolutions. We must pass the resolution from Congresswoman Jayapal. Medical procedures being done on immigrants without their consent harkens back to a dark time in our nation's history when medical abuse against the poor and people of color happened again and again and again. I rise today, though, to discuss the bipartisan resolution condemning the collective delusion known as QAnon. I don't say that description lightly, Madam Speaker, but we all must call it what it is, a sick cult. We are not talking about a group of people with just some different political views. Americans respect political disagreement. But what we do not respect, and what this House should not tolerate, are people using conspiracy theories from the darkest corners of the internet to spread hate and lies. QAnon isn't some harmless distraction. It is an extremist ideology that exploits exploited children and opens the door to real life violence. That's what we're talking about here. Reality versus delusion. Political discussion versus political violence. Just, get, just ask the sponsor of this resolution, Congressman Malinowski. In an interview that was published yesterday, he talked about the death threats and hundreds of hate-filled attacks sent to him from QAnon supporters after introducing this bill. He's not the only member of Congress that's been targeted. And sadly, there are candidates across the country running to serve in Congress that peddle this trash. It is sick, it is wrong, and it is dangerous. You know, it's frustrating that the president uh, wouldn't condemn QAnon. He says they like him. But then again, I never thought I'd see the day when a president of the United States would tell a white supremacist group to stand down and stand by in a national debate. He didn't use a dog whistle, he used a blow horn. Extreme views like these are dangerous. Are we really going to stand by and do nothing, Madam Speaker? That's not who we are as a nation. And all of us, all of us, especially, especially my Republican colleagues, must condemn QAnon or risk being complicit in their dangerous hate peddling. So let's make it crystal clear. This is a sick and a twisted ideology. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlewoman from Pennsylvania.